You know, one of the things that people will say a lot is, well, who trained your dogs? And what we have to say is, well, they trained us. The land we share is really about relationships and connections that form around hunting. Everybody that's sharing it has a part in it. And the most rewarding comments we got about the book were from readers who were, were like, we're not hunters, but we, we get it. This is relatable. And that every hunting story doesn't have to be about success in terms of taking game. That a lot of times ethical hunting is about so much more than, than just the end result. A lot of what we were interested in was telling those stories. What is the life? What is it like at home with the dogs? What is the whole picture? I mean, that's a big part of this book is, is lessons from the dogs. Everything that humans need most right now, dogs are really good at. They've got pure enthusiasm, have little kid joy at everything. When you go out with them, it's kind of like they're a medium between the wild and the domestic, and you get to follow them, and that's really what you're doing when you're a bird hunter, is you're following the dog. They know more about what their job is than we know about what our job is. And if you trust them to follow their heart, things work out just fine. These public lands we have are more important than just a place to go. It's more about this is a legacy that we have the opportunity to preserve. You're coming into an environment that has been going on long before you got there. This is probably the last place to get it right. And for me, I think that's what Alaska's public lands legacy needs to be.